The Air 2S features a 20 megapixel one inch camera capable of capturing stunning photos. And I'm gonna talk about how you can take your photography to another level with HDR. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Farhan and welcome to yet another video. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I still feel fatigued from my vaccine dose, but it is what it is, right? I hope you guys are doing well if you received your vaccine dose. HDR is short for high dynamic range, where the dynamic range is the light to dark ratio. HDR shoots three different photos merged into one in different exposures. This is a single photo I shot of the sunset in RAW. And this is the same photo using auto settings in Lightroom. I also shot three AEB or auto exposure photos and merged them into HDR and Lightroom using auto settings. And here is the result. Here is a comparison of the single photo with auto settings with the three AEB HDR photo with auto settings. The smart photo option does something very similar but without the need for you to manually merge the three AEB photos in post and produces a pretty good smart photo for you to share. I made another video comparing the differences of AEB and smart photo and when you should use them and you can watch the video via the link in the description below. Here is how you merge AEB photos into HDR in Lightroom. Export the photos and select them all. Right click and choose photo merge and then choose HDR. Lightroom will merge the photos and create a preview for you. You can choose auto settings or choose to edit the HDR photo yourself. Click merge and your HDR photo is ready. This is another example of merging AEB photos into HDR in Lightroom. HDR is great, but that doesn't mean you should use it in every situation. When you should use HDR photography, low light and backlit scenes. If your photo is looking a little too dark, which often happens if your scene has too much backlight, HDR can brighten up the foreground without washing out the well lit portions of your photo. Landscapes. Big landscape photos usually have a lot of contrast between the sky and land which is difficult for your camera to deal with in just one photo. With HDR, you can capture the sky's detail without making the land look too dark and vice versa. When you shouldn't use HDR photo. Photos with movement. If any of your subjects are moving or might move, HDR increases the chance of a blurry photo. Remember, HDR takes three pictures, so if your subject moves between the first and the second shot, your final picture won't look very good. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful, and if it was, hit the like button, and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. I'd love to see what your HDR photos look like, so make sure to tag me in them when you upload them to Instagram, and you can find the link to my Instagram profile in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care and stay safe.